What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zelda Toys, and today I have a review of the Kyoto Sofubi Box, Nessie. Alright my zillions, we got another Sofubi Box review, we've done, eh, we've done a couple of these, uh, whether it be in the, uh, like, Highline series with the, the Getter, or the Polar Bear in this regular series, uh, I decided to get Nessie. I actually had this on pre-order a while back, but then I decided maybe I didn't really need it at the time. Um, but after getting the Polar Bear and like deciding, man, the quality is pretty good. And also the T-Rex. I had the T-Rex. Um, you know, the quality is pretty good on these. The ch price is cheap, and they do do things that I really like. So, um, and... The Loch Ness Monster is something I've always dug since I was a little kid. I always liked, you know, the myth and the cryptozoology around it. Um, even as an adult, you know, I've watched a lot on this guy. Um, so I really felt like I needed this. I bought this on eBay, um, which unfortunately took forever to come because I got it uh, at the cheapest available price out of Japan. With shipping and that, uh, unbeknownst to me, uh, was without tracking. So I sweated for a while. It took like a, over a month to get here. Um, but it got here. So very happy about that. And here he is. So let's that let's blah, blah, blah. let's get this review. No need to cut this out, guys. Uh, let's get this review going. Keeping this simple. Let's do articulation. His head is on a swivel. The mouth opens from the top. We saw that with their um, T-Rex as well, opening from the top. Uh, at the base of the neck, swivels as well. The limbs swivel. The torso swivels. And then the end of the tail swivels. So, a bunch of swivels here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points of articulation. Which, if you guys know, for a vinyl figure, that's pretty good. In the looks department, um, it's pretty cool. Kind of, you know, plesiosaurus, elasmosaurus, whatever. Um, you know, that's what these Nessies kind of supposed to be, I guess. Something along those lines. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Um, but it's alright. I, I like his head. It's not bad. These are these little thingies aren't, um, the same size on both sides, which is fine. Uh, the eyes are painted well. The teeth could be painted a little better, unfortunately. See there. Yeah, the teeth could be better. He's got a nice little tongue. Um, but I do like the overall color, and there's this little dot right there on that one. I don't know if it's like a scratch or what. Um... The color throughout, though, is pretty good. It's kind of like this green and like this kind of purplish over it, kind of metallic-y. It's pretty cool. A little bit of a blue hue under that as well. Um, it looks pretty good. The sculpt isn't bad. It's a little soft, uh, but it's, it's not bad. I like it. I wish the head was, like, forward-facing because he can't really... <laughs> he can do like that, but... Um, he's just kind of looking to the side as he's walking by. I don't know, it's kind of uh, walking, swimming by. I guess it's kind of like, you know, some like famous pics where it's just kind of sticking his head out of the water. Um, you know, kind of sort of famous pics. Uh, but the fins look pretty good. He's got these little spikes at the end. That looks pretty decent. Uh, painted well on those at the bottom. You know, it's sculpted. It this texture to it, uh, so it's not bad. Well, you see his ribs and stuff, and the folds and wrinkles actually look pretty good. This is probably the best spot right here of sculpt, I think. Uh, I I do like that. The tail is curved as well into this position, so it's okay. It works. It works. I mean, I don't have a Nessie, so I'm I'm perfectly fine with this. Uh, as my representation of the Loch Ness Monster, I doubt we're going to get too much more going forward. You never know, but that's why I got it, too. It's like, uh, how often are we going to get a Loch Ness Monster branded as, you know, like this kind of creature branded as a Loch Ness Monster? So I had to go for it. I thought it was a pretty cool deal. Um, I, I, I paid like 20, $21 shipped. 
Uh, yeah, no tracking and all that. And I sweated. But I got it, you know, and it's a Kyoto, so I'm happy about that. A little, you know, import Nessie. Uh, it's got decent size, and it looks pretty good overall. So, yeah, it, it's good. I, I don't really have that much else to say about it. You know, the paint is cool, except for the teeth. I really like it. Um, I do like how the plain paint is all blended in, and, you know, it's kind of, you know, thrown throughout, you know, just kind of hewed in. It's good. It makes it feel uh, more realistic in a way. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. I do like it. A little soft, but I, I do like it. I think it's pretty nice. For all your size comparisons, here he is with Redzilla, Jack Rodan, G1 Bumblebee, A Demon Dog, Ice Ice Baby, because it's Easter, Bucky O'Hare. And my final thoughts, it's pretty good. Uh, a little soft, like I've said, but I like it. It works for me as a Nessie. Um, you know, the Sufubi line's pretty cool. And right now, this week, HLJ has a Kyoto uh, sale going on. So if you want to get some Sufubi, uh, there is a few on sale. I'm actually thinking about getting the whale because it looks awesome. Um, but we shall see. I, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> Want to see me review a well? You let me know. Um, but yeah, you could go uh, on HLJ right now and check it out. See what you like. Revoltech and all that. Hey, I don't like Revoltech, just in case you didn't know. Um, yeah, good stuff. All right, guys, and that's my review. Not really much to say here in the final thoughts that I haven't said already. Uh, but I like it. I do. I'm glad to have Nessie in my collection. All right, so that's my review. Hope you dug it. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.